Welcome back for another Ash Design training video. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Square Photo Book web display. And I want to locate the cover folder in my layers palette. And I'm going to click this I to turn that off. Now I can see the book more clearly, and this is the piece that we're going to work with first. Next, I'm going to go over to my layers palette, and I'm going to find the file that says open page left. And I'm going to click on this arrow to open that, and then I'm going to locate the yellow highlighted layer, because those are the layers that we're going to want to clip to in this template. I'm going to select that, and you can tell it's selected by the blue highlight on there. And now I'm going to go over to the first page that I want to pull in. So I'm going to come to this page and the very first thing I'm going to do is go image, image size, and I'm going to change the height to 300 pixels. And this will make it fit better into our template. And then I'm just going to double click on this hand and it's going to make it large again so we can see it. The next step is to select the entire area. So I'm going to do control A and then I'm going to copy it, which is control C. And then I'm going to go back to my square photo book. I'm going to click on my layer and I'm going to paste it. Control V. I'm just going to try and center my image to where I want it. And now we're really ready to get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is come down here and I'm going to view my template at 500%. And it makes it really large and so I just need to scroll right back up to where we're seen the, the layer that we just put in. So this is the layer that we just put in and then we're going to fit it right into this left page layer. So to do this I want to make sure that my layer one that I just imported is highlighted layer in my layers palette and then I'm going to transform this control T and you can tell that the control T worked by the little handles that are now on this box but before I do anything else I'm going to right click on my image and I'm going to select distort. Now I'm going to take these little handles, it's going to let me move each handle individually, and I'm going to place it in the corner of that other layer. And so you can kind of see where it matches up, and you just match those up as closely as you can, and that's why we're at 500%, so it's easier to get those corners right where we want them. So this one needs to come all the way over here and down to about there. And then I'm just going to go up to my top corners, do the same process. And my final corner goes right in there. To set that, I'm just going to hit the Enter Return key. And now I'm going to back out of this so we can look at it a little better. So I'm going to change this to 200%. And that lets us see this entire page. Um, but it's still large enough that uh, we can see it and get some detail. Now, as you can see, it's still not filling the entire page. We've done the corners, but we're not filling the page of the book. So our next step is to transform it again, so control T one more time, and then we're going to right click, and this time select warp. Now you'll see when I select warp it gives me these additional handles in here, and I'm going to use these handles to just slightly move my page to conform again to the layer underneath. And you can play with, you know, how far out you go. Um, so the goal here is to fill the layer without distorting the image in a way that looks bad. So you can just play with moving these handles around to get something that looks nice. Same thing on the bottom side of things. On the bottom, you can kind of adjust them back up a little. Now I'm starting to see the white come in right there. This one come down just a little. And then I'll just verify that my image looks pretty good. And as long as I'm happy with that, again, I'll hit enter and return. And let me just back out here real quick to 100% so you can see what that page looks like. So then we repeat the same process for the right-hand side of the page. So I'm just going to close the open left page. I'm going to look for the open right page folder. I'm going to click on this arrow to open that. I'm going to select the yellow highlighted layer. And then I'm going to find my second page. I'm going to go to image, image size. I'm going to change the height to 300 pixels and choose OK. I'll double click on my hand to fill the frame so I can see it. I want to select the entire image, so I'm going to hit Control A. And then I want to copy it, Control C. And then I'll go right back to my square photo book. 
again verify that I have the correct layer highlighted and I'll paste control V get my arrow tool here and I'll align it as best I can and then from here I'm going to zoom in to 500 percent once again then I'm going to hit control T to transform my layer right click to distort and then I'm going to find the corners once again Once I'm happy with my corners, I hit enter or return to set that. I'm going to back out to 200% so I can see the entire page. I'm going to transform one more time, control T. I'm going to right click and choose warp. I'm going to use these boxes once again to distort my page to fit into the template. And I'll do the same on the bottom. And once I'm happy with how that sits, I'll hit enter or return. And then I'll go back to 100%. If we're happy with how this looks, the next step is to do our cover. So I'll just click the eye to turn back on our cover layer. And you can see how it puts it right in here. And then I'm going to click this arrow to open it up. The first step is to find our yellow highlighted cover layer and select that. Again, you can tell it's selected because it's blue. And then I'm going to go to my cover image. And the first thing I'm going to do is resize it. So I'm going to go image, image size. Again, I'm going to change the height to 300. Select OK. I'll double click my hand to fill the frame. Now in this case, we only want the front cover to begin with, so I'm going to get this select tool and I'm going to use these blue guidelines to help me. I'm going to start on this blue guideline and I'm going to select the entire front cover. I'm going to copy this layer and then I'm going to come back to my photo book. I'm going to make sure that the cover layer is selected and I'm going to paste control V. And then I'm going to use my arrow key kind of center it and now this is not clipped to the layer in this case so to clip it you can just right click between the layers right there and choose create clipping mask and now you'll see that it's clipped into the cover and you can also see that on my screen how anything that goes outside of that cover layer does not show up now the next step is to transform that image to fit so first we want to view it larger this time I'm going to go to 400 percent and I'm going to make sure that my layer is selected and I'm going to hit control T and then to make sure I can move each corner individually I'm going to right click and choose distort now from here I'm going to take each corner just like we did before and align them with the corner of the layer And once I'm happy with each of those corners, I'm just going to hit enter or return to set. And we'll go back to 100% so you can see what that looks like. Now we're going to select the spine and we're going to go over to the 8x8 photo book. We're going to select, use our selection tool to select the spine area, again using our guides. And then we will just copy control C, go back to our photo book and paste control V, use my arrow tool. To align it a little bit and then we also need to clip this layer so this is the layer 4 between the layer 4 and the spine and create clipping mask and it clips that in there now I'm going to go up to 400 percent the percentage you choose is up to you I just pick a number so where I can see the corners pretty well I'm going to make sure my layer 4 is selected I'm going to hit control T to transform and then I'm going to right click and choose distort And then I'm just going to align my corners one more time. 
this is a much smaller area so it's a little bit more difficult and I sometimes have to go over a little to cover it the way I want. And then enter to set and let's take a look again at 100%. And now we just have one more piece that we need to fill so I'm just going to select the back inside wrap. I'm going to go back to my cover and use my selection tool to select the back section of the book using again my guides and then I'm going to copy control C go back I'm going to control V paste then I'm going to clip these layers together just right click create clipping mask I'll use my arrow to center it up a little go back up to 400 percent find my corners from here I'm going to transform control T and then I'm going to right click to distort and one more time I'm just going to align the corners to the layer we can't see it up here so we'll just get close And then we'll look at it at 100%. And there's one more layer that we have not done, and it's this back layer. So let me close this cover. And right inside this open cover and inside page, we're going to go to the open book base right here, the other yellow highlighted. We're going to go back to our 8x8 and we're going to select the entire area. So we're going to hit Control A and you can see how now everything is selected. And we're going to copy and we're going to go back to our square photo book. Make sure our open book base is selected and we're going to paste. And then we're going to clip those layers together. So hover between them, right click, create clipping mask. I'm going to use my arrow tool to center it up a little bit. And then we're going to write, oops, we're going to increase this to 500, uh, let's do 400% again. And find an edge here. And we're going to do Control T. And then we're going to right click to distort. And one more time, line up the corners. And once you're happy with that, just enter a return to set. I'm going to back out to 100% so that we can see it. And this is what our book display looks like.